YouTube. It's Ali Justine, and yes, I'm wearing my natural hair on camera. So I'm rocking a flat twist out with a flat twist in the front, and then you know, baby hair has got to be laid all the time. So today's video is going to be a naturally curly hair tag. I did the black girl tag um, a couple days ago, so I was thinking like, hmm, why not create another tag, but actually have me be the creator. So, one shout out to my friend Liana because she did help me with some of these questions, but for the most part, like, I made a lot of the questions. So, this is the naturally curly hair tag. So, I'm tagging you, who has naturally curly hair, to do this tag on your YouTube, your Twitter, your Snapchat, your Instagram, your Facebook, your MySpace. I don't know, but I'm tagging you to do this tag. Um, so, basically, in this video, I'm going to be reading the questions from the tag, and I'll be answering them for myself as well. All the questions and information will be down below, so check down below and do this tag on your social media too. So, let's just jump into the tag. How long have you been wearing your hair curly? So, for me, I think I said in the last video, it was like June 29th to June 30th, um, 2017, so a couple months ago. Um, I was like in between washes or like flat irons. I would wash my hair and it would be curly, but I'd wear it in a bun and I never would do anything with it. It would just wash, put it in a bun, and go to school. Go to the shop, get it straightened. So, like, I've actually been dedicated to wearing my hair curly since June 29th. My hair type, I still don't know. I probably should Google my hair type, but I, I don't know my hair type. Number three, what stage are you in? Are you transitioning fully natural or, like, just did a big chop? So for me, I am transitioning. If you could see, like, can you guys see this heat damage? So I do need to go get that handled. I don't really have a lot on this side. Yeah, you guys can see that I do need a little snip snip. But I am transitioning as of June 29th or June 30th, whatever day it was. And number four, what made you decide to go natural slash wear your hair curly? Um... Well, one, for college, I didn't want to have to deal with always straightening my hair. For me, when my hair is straight, like, when I have a big event coming up, I need my hair to be freshly straight, like, no ifs, ands, or buts. Like, if there's a, I don't know, like, a concert that I'm going to, I need my hair to be, like, laid, like, freshly, like, fresh out the flat iron. And if there's, like, a presentation, I need my hair to be freshly laid, like, fresh out the flat iron for that, too. So that's just a lot of heat, a lot of time, because not only... For me, when I freshly, like, a fresh flat iron to me is, like, a wash, below dry, and flat iron, so it's, like, super fresh. And who has the time to be doing that all the time in college? Because I don't think I'm going to have that time. So, since I won't have that time, I just pretty much decided to, you can really see the heat damage on the side. I'm trying to, like, disguise it and throw it back there, but you can see it so much on camera. But, um, I just decided, like, why not go curly? And there's so many things that I can do with my curly hair. I mean, there's so many things I can do with my straight hair, but curly hair, you know, you don't want to, like, do it. Just throw in a bun, a pineapple, wear it down, have a pop down. Like, there's so many things you can do, and it's actually, like, a healthy version of your hair. So, that's why I decided to go curly. Number five, my favorite, what, or what is your favorite product for your hair? So, my favorite product for my hair, um, I have a couple, couple favorite products. But I think my all-time favorite product is Eco Styler Gel, the um, Argan Oil one. That one, hands down. If you had me on Instagram, which you should, you saw that I have, like, the huge, huge, huge one on my Instagram story. So I got the huge one. I'll take a picture of it in the video because it's in my room. But that's definitely my favorite product because it really helps with, like, styles like this. Like, actually, because for me, like, I actually have a lot more heat damage than you can see. Like, if you look, it's pretty curly. But a lot of this is actually like parts that have heat damage, but with Eco Styler, it really helps like my hair curl up at the ends when I like do braid outs or twist outs or whatever to help it not be as like damaged looking. So that's definitely my favorite product, like hands down. And I use it as like edge control, like to lay my baby hairs down, everything. So Eco Styler is the truth. What is your goal length for your hair curly as well as straight? So I know people who wear their hair curly to grow it out so they can wear it straight again. For me, I rather I'm wearing my hair curly to not only let it grow and to be healthy. I mean, I'll straighten it here and there, but I really just want my hair to be nice and healthy and curly. So for curly, I want my curly hair to be like right here, and then the straight hair, I guess it'll be like down there. 
but that's pretty much my goal for my curly hair and my straight hair. Um, number seven, would you go back to straightening or perming your hair? Um, I had a kitty perm when I was little. Cause I used to swim a lot and my hair was like, it was hard. I was tender hair when I was little, so it was like, it was a task to do my hair. But, um, personally, I wouldn't go back to straightening my hair. Like, I will straighten my hair here and there or whatever the case may be down the line. I kind of want to go one whole year without heat, though. But after that, I will straighten my hair here and there, I guess. But, um... For the most part, I don't. I wouldn't see myself going back to straightening and then perming was when I was little, so no. Number eight, a favorite protective style. I'm um, definitely a bun. Like if you watch my previous videos, you see that I rock a bun all the time. Like a bun is such a go-to style that it's so easy. Like you can't really mess up a bun. So whether it's a top knot or just a regular like the little fan out buns that I usually do, a bun. My favorite natural hair YouTuber. What is your favorite natural hair YouTuber? Um, I would definitely say Natural Nisi. Um, who else? I'm trying to remember. Oh, the Glam Twins. That's their name, I think. The, yeah, I think it's the Glam Twins. And then Brie Hall. Um, she used to be the Smartista Beauty, but she's Brie Hall now. My lip gloss always gets all caked up on the side. But, yeah, those are definitely my favorite natural YouTubers. I watch them a lot to, like, see how they're doing with their hair and like things that they do because that's why I got like the flat twist out idea from like one of them so yeah um do you wash your hair in the shower or in the sink that is number 10 I do both because I usually have a wash day on either is it my excuse me I think it's Monday yeah I think I do Monday and Thursday so for me, I go to the gym in the morning, like I wake up at 9, around 9-ish, and I go to the gym and I shower, but I don't like to wash my hair in the morning, like I shower right when I get back from the gym, but I don't like to wash my hair at that point because in my hair, like if I want, like when I wash my hair, that's when I twist, do a twist out right after washing, like wash, put product in, the LLC method, actually I did the LCO method, the liquid cream oil method, and then I do a twist out, a braid out, bantu knots, whatever I want to do. But if I had to go out that day to do stuff, I don't want to go out the house with, like, my twist out or my Bantu knots, like, dripping water, and it's not styled. So, usually, if that's the case, I'll um, wash my hair in the sink, but say I didn't go to the gym that day, like, if I didn't go to the gym on a Thursday, then I would wash my hair in the shower that Thursday night. Um, but it's definitely easier to wash your hair in the shower because you can, like, it's easier to, like, lean your head back than to be... Tipping your head over in the sink, that is the struggle, and it hurts your neck. Number 11, how long do you spend in the shower on wash day? So when I do wash my hair in the shower, it's a long day. Like I literally, it, it extends my shower time at least a minimum of 15 minutes. I don't know why I keep looking that way, but I need to be looking this way. But anyways, it definitely extends my shower at least 15 to 20 minutes just because um, I section my hair. I used to section it into fours, which was just too much. Like, it's not that serious. So I sectioned my hair in, like, the middle. So, like, the, you know, half up, half down. And do it that way. But um, when I get in the shower, like, I have to get, like, my hair, like, moisturized and, like, wet first. And then start brushing through a little bit to, like, detangle. And then shampoo, conditioner, brush through some more. Brush through, brush through until there's no tangles. And I have to do that on both sections. And then you have to do the continue the shower process as well to get your body clean. So it is just a long process. Um, number 12, how fast do you go through conditioner? Um, I think it depends on, like, the brand of conditioner for me, because some conditioners have, like, more product than others, and some conditioners are thicker than others. I mean, yeah, you use a lot of conditioner when you have curly hair, but the thicker the conditioner is, the less you need. So if a conditioner is really, really thick, then I don't need, like, a whole bunch. Like, a lot of conditioners say use a dime size amount, and I use, like, a, I don't know, like, a bowl size amount. Because I like to really have my hair be conditioned, especially in the transitioning period when your hair is really dry and like breaking a lot. You condition a lot so that you can help moisturize your hair. So I use a lot of conditioner for the most part. Uh, the conditions I use are in the middle. like They're not super like runny, but they're not super thick. So I use a good amount of conditioner. Worst natural hair product? I don't think I've actually... Oh, the product I really like... It didn't work for me. I wouldn't say it's the worst product, but it just didn't. It made my hair like crunchy. Was the um, 
the Cantu leave-in conditioner, it just did not do anything for my hair. Like, it didn't style it. It just left it, like, straight and crunchy. Like, it made my heat damage super noticeable, and it made it crunchy. So I was like, uh, this is the no for me. And then also the little, there's, like, another product from Cantu. I think it's, like, a, a curling custard. Not the curl definer, because I love the curl definer, but the curling custard where it's, like, kind of clearish, and it's super, like, gooey. You're supposed to use it like when your hair is soaking wet, but sometimes if you, it does define your curls, but sometimes it makes the curls like super like greasy and gross, so I'm not a fan of that either. Advice for people transitioning. So for me, obviously I can't give a ton of advice for this question. Maybe you who gonna be, who's going to do this tag on your channel or your social media platform can give more advice than I can, but um... I don't know. A lot of the advice I would say is patience. Like it takes a lot of patience to get to know your hair, to get to know what products you know you're going to use on your hair. One thing I will say is don't go out and buy the most expensive product that you see other YouTubers using because just because it works for this YouTuber doesn't mean it's going to work for you. And products for your naturally curly hair are expensive. So I wouldn't just go out and buy the first, you know, $30 product you see because this YouTuber uses it because it may not work on your hair and that's $30 that pretty much wasted so I would definitely say experiment with like cheaper products first and then work your way up because then once you start experimenting with products and you can see what works for your hair and what doesn't you can kind of like have an idea of what kind of what types of products will work like for example if you're using like leave-in conditioners or from like a certain brand you can kind of like gear that when you're shopping for your hair products so I definitely say patience like patience on one, learning your hair because I still, like, I don't know my hair type like that because I have a lot of different textures. Um, I still don't know all the products that work for my hair good and that don't. Like, I haven't, you know, found all the products that work good for me. And also, patience with, like, styling because if you are transitioning from, especially wearing your hair straight all the time, this the way you style your curly hair is a little bit harder. I mean, the way you style your straight hair is a little bit harder on your curly hair. Like, it's a little bit of a not a hassle but it's just a little bit more time consuming and curly hair is definitely more time consuming because when your hair is straight you wear it straight you wrap it you go to bed your hair is curly you have to wash it and put all your products in there and moisturize it braid it up go to bed it's just a little bit longer so definitely a lot of patience but that is all for the naturally curly hair tag thank you so much for watching this video hopefully you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share this tag on your social media thanks for watching